Leos. Subscribe. What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? <coughs> uh, uh, I'm sick. Oh, I'm sick. But I'm still gonna do this video. Chaos Demon Herald on of Zinch. It's this new model that comes on the flying base. Fine cast. So I haven't had a chance to look at the pieces yet, so let's all be surprised together, shall we? Got my cereal. Got my fine cast. Ugh. <clears throat> oh man. I am sick. Alright, so what is this? What what are we looking at? This looks like a hand holding a book. And the top part of the head. Oh, interesting. And a hand holding a curvy dagger. It's got the standard, usual, fine cast, um, little bits of flash all over the, all over the screen. Let's see if we can get in a little bit closer. Check out the details. <clears throat> all right, doesn't look like there's any bubbles or miscasts yet. Okay, then what's this piece? Tentacles! Ooh. And here's the main part of the body. Where do those tentacles go? And yeah, it looks like this is the back. Here's a little socket for, for the third arm. Oh, that's why there's only the top part of the head, because the bottom part of the beak with the tongue is already molded onto the body. It's interesting, okay. I like the detail on the little bits of cloth. Looks really cool. So far, it looks like it's so good. Oh, cool. This looks like the hand with the eye on it. Yeah, that one. <clears throat> if you don't want it to have the staff. Okay, so this is cool because it means that you have a lot of different options for for the third arm. And that means that the options you don't use can be used for another model. So it looks like at least one of these two hands and the 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 hand with the curvy dagger. Because the book has to stay on, but you can either choose to put this hand on with the dagger, the hand with the, the eyeball in the palm, or the staff and this rock and roll hand. <clears throat> okay, and then it comes with a flying base, or a square or hammer monster piece. The last piece let's take a look at is of course the disc. And back up just a little bit. So it's got the eye of Zinch, the symbol of Zinch on it. It's got some horns in the front, an eyeball for steering. And this looks like the underside. Mmm, shiitake mushroom. Make me hungry. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's any any holes or miscasts in this, which I was worried about because it's such a big piece. But it looks okay. So I'm gonna build this thing up and I'll show you what it looks like when we get back. I'm also probably gonna eat some of the cereal. Alright, just want to show you one thing. You see the top part of this dagger? <clears throat> the little ball on the end of it. When I was clipping this thing from the sprue, the ball broke and it stayed on the sprue while the hand and the dagger came off. So, that, um, I guess there's a weak joint between the little ball and the rest of the knife, but I had to cut it off and glue it on and, uh, that was, that was a hassle because it's so small and fiddly. I do like the little sucker finger pointing, <laughs> that's pretty cool, but, um, 
Vine cast. Mm, cereal. All right, I want to show you guys something. This thing with the with the hand connected to the book, these pieces of flash. I was going to start taking those off when I was looking at it, and I was like, um, what is this? If you can see where the hand is, the arm is connected to the book. Like, what is all that business right in there? I don't know. I don't know how to clean it. I don't even know how to go about I don't even know what it is. Is his arm, like, something, like, in the book, in the pages? Uh. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll just clean around it and... Let me know what you guys think about that. That's a big mess. Also, I did find... Cereal's all gone. I did find... GW, so sneaky. Put your giant fail cast right over by the foot. Didn't notice that when I was first taking it out, but you see that big hole right there on the right foot? Oh. Maybe I'll green stuff it, maybe I'll leave it. Hey, he's chaos, he's zinch, he's always changing, so... It's just so ugly. Oh, man. Oh, he's so ugly. Alright, so here's the assembled model. As you can see, I decided to go with the... Eyeball in the hand. Hand? <laughs> and the pointing finger. I also magnetized the bottom of this guy's feet. Tiny little magnets. And I highly recommend getting them from... I got them from miniwargaming.com. This is what it looks like. Primal Horizon magnets. 1 16th of an inch by 1 32 of an inch. And I keep them in the back here. Really great. They're just really small. So, so they're a little bit fiddly. And I'm not really that good yet. So I'm not very skillful with using them. So maybe when I get a little bit better, I'll put up a Warboss tutorial on how I magnetize, but I think I did a pretty good job. The magnet fits on pretty nicely in case I want to change him out. If I don't want to use him on the disc, or if I want to maybe give the disc to somebody in a Warriors of Chaos army, maybe like a Chaos Sorcerer on a disc, then I could do that. Um, let's see, yeah, except for his where his arm meets the book, which is totally messed up, and this little hole on his leg, which I still need to green stuff over. I found out, oh yeah, the, the tentacles go on the back. There are two little sockets for them. So I think that's how they go on. If not, then, oh well, that's how I put mine on. I thought actually that they were supposed to go as like decorative pieces for the base, like tentacles sticking out. But um, yeah, so pretty pleased with him. I'm going to take him outside. If you watch my Blood Angel Scouts video, still got them here. So. I'm gonna take everybody outside right now to get a nice little primer base coat. Hey guys! <clears throat> I also did my Herald on. I didn't glue the disc on with the shiitake mushroom because it fits right into this little flying stand. Um, and uh, what I did do is I glued the flying stand into the base. So I'm gonna decorate it up and and what I think I'm gonna do is, I saw on the uh, inside the Chaos Demons book. If you look inside the Chaos Demons book, they're they're not not the is it the screamers of Zinch, the ones that are floating? They look like manta rays floating over the ground. They're they've got some great OSL lighting right underneath them. So I'd like to try my hand at that. Like the bottom of the disc is glowing and it's being reflected off the ground, like a UFO. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'm gonna paint this guy up. Stay tuned and I'll show you the finished product when I get done. Alright, so now as you can see, my guy's got some primer on him. And what I did was I magnetized him. So I put in two of those magnets here on his base and two on his feet seas. So now he is magnetized. Well, dudes, y'all totally tubular, cowabunga man, and I kind of wish this was a little bit more like the Dark Eldar models that have the 
the ball in joint because they can get to some really cool angles but I, f I found that if I angle the front down a little bit like he's going into a dive then you don't see the peg the plastic flying base uh, flying peg as much so I'm probably gonna paint the source lighting like it's stronger back here or stronger in, uh, in the front and then lighter back here because this part of the the miniature is closer to the ground and yeah I'm gonna put up a how to paint video so stay tuned and stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next one